Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. Indeed, the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed, I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The Portes Iquique have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. We have already started here. We sit forward. Looking to hit the front line. Gets wrestled off the ball. Well, that's where he wants it. Time to deliver. Lovely feet. Puts it into the middle. And that has been clubbed away. Into the box. Repelled by the keeper. Shooting chance! That was venomous. Forward it goes. Oh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Played in with accuracy. Has he found his man? Looks to bypass the midfield. And it's played forward. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Deportes Iquique, yet to have a shot on target. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Goes direct to the front line. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Tries to get it forward quickly. 
Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Tries to get it forward quickly. Knocks it away. Receives it in a good position. And the ball's come out. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Forward it goes. The referee brings the first half to a close. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. To review the first half. Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. We're underway again. The Portes of Quique can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. And he's going long. Dinked in, cut out in the nick of time. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Tries to locate someone up front. Tries to get it forward quickly. That's just literally playing into his hands. Forward it goes. More than happy to take the muscular approach. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. He's made sure that that won't get through. That could spell trouble. Take by the keeper, he's read that well. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. Played out to the right. A nice touch. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Nicely controlled. The Portes of Quique merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Listen, it may well finish this way because it's been so tight all the way through, but equally, we might still get a moment of magic, a mistake or a refereeing decision to influence otherwise. 
Well, that's where he wants it. And he's straight offside. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Quick pull forward. They are right into last chance territory. Pins it out wide. Chance for a cross, maybe now or never. Delivers a cross. Big chance! Oh, it's in! And that might well be that! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Colo Colo, and time is up. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. Your final thoughts, Jim? It's a poor result. They offered very little goal threat, 